Hi, welcome back to Q&A with Dr. K. Uh, today's question has to do with skin cancer and are there any vitamins one can take uh, to help reduce the chances of developing a skin cancer, especially the early ones, the first stage skin cancers? Uh, the answer is not surprising. <laughs> it's certainly a whole food plant-based diet uh, because uh, you want to eliminate those foods that are going to stimulate the cells to behave abnormally. And those have, those are largely fried foods that are filled with free radicals, even vegan fried foods, not your friend. And certainly animal-based products uh, are not only, of course, they're always uh, cooked. So there's going to be some cooked animal muscle that's going to have free radicals. Uh, but also a meat-based diet makes the body produce a hormone called insulin-like growth factor one, IGF-1, that stimulates growth throughout the body. And you don't want a diet that makes you walk around with high levels of IGF-1, because if you do start developing an early cancer, it's going to be like throwing gasoline on a fire. And so, again, uh, pulling out the animal products are going to reduce your IGF-1 levels, and that's, that's a good thing. Uh, are there specific foods? Well, surprise, surprise, since oxidative damage, uh, the ripping of electrons off, off tissues, it seems to be a significant initiating factor. Uh, and certainly sunlight uh, hitting your skin uh, in large amounts for long periods of time is certainly a powerful oxidizing agent. Uh, those substances in our diet that work their way out to the skin that have antioxidant properties are going to uh, reduce uh, the risk of developing a skin cancer. And again, to no one's surprise, those come out to be the uh, foods that are really richly pigmented. Of course, the berries of all types of, with significant uh, coloration, uh, uh, blueberries, blackberries, uh, raspberries, etc. So you want those in your uh, diet as often as you can. Um, the uh, other uh, ally here are tomatoes, tomato paste, stewed tomatoes. They have lots of lycopene that works its way out to the skin, stabilizes the membranes and makes it less likely uh, to be affected by the uh, burning rays of the sun. Uh, but uh, those are very important. Uh, but of course, uh, minimizing sun exposure uh, to those burning UVB rays so uh, from the hot part of the day, if you're in the area, if you're up in Alaska, uh, le less of concern. But uh, uh, if you live in Arizona, whatever, don't be out in the sun unprotected, you know, from 10 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. When you are out, uh, wear a nice hat. Uh, they now have these sun protective garments you can wear, uh, but uh, protect the, the sun from uh, hitting your skin uh, with those burning rays. And of course, a high SPF uh, sunblock uh, is appropriate in those kinds of situations. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, we mentioned that the berries and the tomatoes uh, help make the skin more resistant to the ultraviolet B rays that burn uh, and can set off skin cancers. Well, guess what makes them more susceptible? Good old alcohol. Uh, and that increases the rate at which we burn. It really diminishes the antioxidant molecules in our skin. So uh, again, another reason not to think of alcohol as a health food. Uh, it damages every organ in the body, and that includes the skin, uh, and may set us up for a higher risk of skin cancers. So uh, I hope that helps, and uh, uh, enjoy the sun, but be respectful, and uh, keep your body as healthy and filled with anti-cancer molecules to the greatest extent possible.